Come back to second live here. Now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna upload these uh, files we just did. I'll just do the upload bulk since I, have, I know I have three textures to upload, so I might as well get them all at once. Oh, there we go. And they should upload now. There we go. Alright, so once again we click the boat, click setup and retexture. Now I'll take the uh, new texture I uploaded and I'm gonna copy the asset UID and I'm gonna click here and you can you can kinda see I mean if I missed it you would you would definitely be able to see the difference between the whole stern flashing like that or just the name right <coughs> sorry so we're gonna paste the UID and uh, when I do that change the name here on the stern it'll actually automatically change it up here as well and of course on the on the other side of the boat as well uh, you, you, that's, that's, that's gonna be the same texture no matter what you can actually put different one or different textures on that but um, I don't really see why they would you would want to anyway and the same thing with the hull I'll select it and I'll paste the UID and submit and it'll load there look how pretty that is that is a pretty one now for the sails that's a little bit more tricky because the sails are not up right now and you can't actually see them uh, I could put it on, put the um, new mainsail on the loose sail that you see laying on top of the boom here, since we can see that one. Uh, so I, I'll click it and I'll paste the UUID. It's the same texture on the loose sail as on, on the raised sail, so you can just reuse that one, it's very easy. Now, there's two ways we can go about uh, changing the sail shirt uh, when when we can't see it like this. Either we can we can start the boat and we can uh, hoist the sails. That would work. Uh, we can also use the uh, command uh, to show sails even when uh, we're not sailing. Uh, I'll, I'll first I just click anywhere and I'll submit an empty box here to close down the texture mode. There you go and then we can get back to the main menu. I'll click again setup but this time I'm gonna click the show sales button here. See when I do that all the sales are suddenly visible and I can go back to the setup and retexture mode. This was where we were before and now I can click the main sale and put my custom texture on there. I could put the same one on the uh, jib sheet here or oh, I can uh, you know put a custom spinnaker sail on it if I wanted to but uh, this is just for an exam anyway so you, you can probably figure that out yourself to close the texture mode down let's just submit the empty box there and that's it uh, so how do we get the sails back down well you know um, if you pick up the boat and you raise it out again it'll fix it all and all uh, sales will go away or you can uh, or you can actually just start sailing it uh, once you raise the sails and raise the spinnaker and you take both of the, both of them down again uh, everything will be back to normal as well uh, I didn't uh, I didn't put in a, a special hide sails command since uh, that would in my opinion be a waste of script memory just uh, just for that when you can you can just pick up the boat you probably want to want to pick up the boat anyway right now since you did customize it uh, also notice if uh, if you pick it up you know it's still gonna be the same name as it's always been so if you have five different ones that you painted maybe it'll be hard to find uh, the right one you want in the inventory you can of course move them to a, a folder that you rename that would work you can also uh, use the uh, ID command if you type ID and then type uh, test paint you'll see the boat saying uh, new boat ID uh, test paint 
and if you look at the object name it's actually added that to the object name. So if I take a copy of this boat now, it'll it'll be renamed in inventory uh, so I can find it uh, if, if I wanted to do that. Um, I f yeah, well I think that's about it when it comes down to uh, yeah. Remember if you if you change the design here, the the preloaded uh, factory paints, it, you're gonna override whatever you put on there. I mean if I do it now see it, it goes away and I'd have to reapply them but of course you could just have taken a copy of the boat and then you would always be able to res it out anyway that's uh, just a little tutorial on the uh, paint system and um, I hope it uh, makes sense and you can uh, make some some uh, some cool paint jobs and uh, personalize your boat and uh, have some fun with it motor out take care